Two teenagers trying to act out the life of a street gangster. But in reality, they are the children of well-to-do doctors who live in Anderson Township. Today, David Morad and his twin sister Alexis were sentenced for a crime even they call horrible. WLWT News 5's Brian Hamrick was in the courtroom as the judge accepted a controversial plea deal. Brian. Yeah, Mike. Well, David Morad was enamored with this life of a street thug, but the crime that got him caught was part home invasion, part dumb crook news. Today, he and his twin sister were sentenced. Under normal circumstances, David Morad would be headed to college. Instead, and I know that I'm ready to do my time. I'm ready to, to go to prison. He's headed to a different institution. Morad is a former Seven Hills student, son of well to do doctors who was living the life of a street gangster. But his emotions reflected the opposite in court. The lifestyle that I thought was cool. I realized how horrible of everything that I've done over the past year is. I'm such a terrible person. Prosecutors say Morad had already robbed drug dealers when he planned with his twin sister Alexis what amounts to a home invasion. Problem is, Morad got the wrong house by mistake. They went to the home of WVXU radio news anchor Ann Thompson. You have to uh, uh, serve time for what you did, but I do forgive you. Thompson was not attacked, but says police told her the plan that involved a loaded 45, duct tape, and a hatchet. The hatchet was intended to cut off my fingers or my kids' fingers and torture us into telling us where the telling them where the drugs were, and of course there weren't any. One reason Thompson and the investigator were not in favor of the plea deal, Rad was sentenced to six and a half years in prison. And I just want to apologize to my family and Mrs. Thompson for for how horrible of a human being I've been. And Alexis was given three years of community service. I take full responsibility for my actions. And I have no one to blame but myself for the decisions that I made. Now, those who acted out the lifestyle of street gangsters are living with the real life consequences of them. Now, prosecutors say they agreed to that six and a half year sentence because they say 10 years is about as much as they could have gotten. They agreed to give up some of that time in prison in order to get more community control time when he got out of prison. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick. WLWT News 5. All right, Brian, David Morad will have five years of community control once he does get out of prison.